Good day all and welcome back. So today let's go through over 14 fiscal localization package for Belgium. So for Belgium country there are different modules available in the localization package. So when you check the Odo app store uh, you can see after closing the apps filter you can find some modules. So we have Belgium accounting, Belgium import uh, bank statements that is bank CODA statements then Belgium disallowed expense data then Belgium electronic invoicing then Belgium structured communication then Belgium accounting reports and we have others uh, module like Belgium payroll, Belgium payroll with accounting, Belgium payroll fleet so these things are related to our HR localization package okay so these modules are already installed uh, so it is automatically installed when you uh, set the country while creating the database okay now the first module that is Belgium accounting so this provides basic accounting features including chart of accounts taxes uh, journals fiscal positions uh, for a country and then the next report that is uh, import bank COD statements that is we can import bank statements mm, so a new option will be available for importing uh, that is as CODA statements then Belgium disallowed expense data so we can create disallowed expense categories and we have a new report for uh, our accounting module that is disallowed expense report so this uh, feature is new in Udo 40 that is disallowed expense so we'll be discussing about it then Belgium electronic invoicing so this promotes electronic invoicing in Belgium and then Belgium structured communication so this adds structured communication to customer invoices using BBA standard communication simplifies the reconciliation between invoices and payments then the last one Belgium accounting reports this uh, provides accounting reports for Belgium specific localization and these modules that is accounting and accounting reports these are um, present in all the localization packages that is for of all countries we can see this accounting and accounting reports okay so after installing these modules we can set the company uh, so we have already set the company so when you go to settings Okay, so you can see uh, we can add some general information related to the company like uh, address including state, country. So I have set the country as Belgium and you can provide uh, some other details like email, website, phone number, then the VAT number for a country. Uh, then uh, currency is automatically set after when the country is set. Okay, so I have uh, configured the company and you can see I have switched to the company Cyprus Technologies. So when you check the accounting module uh, inside accounting configuration settings okay, so here when you search for country you can see automatically uh, Belgium is set as a country it is a physical country so only tax reports associated to this country will be available. So after adding Belgian localization package, you can see here under configuration uh, some pre-configured chart of accounts, taxes, journals, currencies, fiscal positions and all. So when you open chart of accounts, you can uh, see some pre-configured accounts uh, for a country. So here you can see there are different chart of accounts, different account types. and then 
here we have taxes then journals so when you open a journal so let me open customer invoices here under advanced settings you can find the electronic data exchange so this section indicates which edi workflow is used in invoice so in belgium we must select eff so this eff standard is by default selected and it promotes electronic invoicing that is uh, the standards allows our customers to improve their productivity and here we can select the payment communication uh, it can be based on invoice based on customer then you can see communication standard is by default set as belgium and then we have currencies so you can see there are only two active currencies so we can uh, make other currencies active and then uh, we have some fiscal positions configured so when you open one you can see some tax mapping and account mapping are done so you can see sales rendered in belgium it is mapped to sales rendered in eec so this way you can map taxes and accounts uh, then we can manage belgium specific uh, disallowed expense report so for that first we have to configure belgium uh, specific disallowed expense category so we have some pre configured disallowed expense categories uh, so if you open one here we can see we can set code name uh, category then we can add rates here and we can save this so this expense uh, this allowed expenses are expenses that cannot be deducted in fiscal result but can be in your uh, bookkeeping result so we can get uh, fiscal result in real time so uh, after setting disallowed expenses categories we can manage periodic changes so we can create different disallowed expense categories with specific percentage and it can change over time that is the rate can change over time okay so after uh, setting disallowed expense category you can set this category inside your chart of account that is uh, here we have a chart of accounts you can create a new expense account from here so inside the account uh, form here we can add the disallowed expense category so you can see the rate here and after that you can save this so there are uh, currently there are no journal items so you can create a new expense
so I press it is amount can come from this bill and make the payment. So we have uh, made the payment for expense. Now when you check uh, the reporting, here we have a separate report for disallowed expenses under management. So just open that disallowed expense report and here we can view the uh, disallowed expense categories. So we have uh, two, two categories here and we can see the total amount for each category. And when you unfold each category, you can see the accounts here and total amount, uh, then the total uh, disallowed amount. So you can see 80 percentage is uh, noted as a disallowed amount. And we can also filter this disallowed expense report uh, by journal. Yeah, and we can see uh, unposted entries. Then we have Belgium specific reports. So as we have installed Belgium accounting reports, you can see different reports are available like partner VAT listing, partner VAT intra, and you can see different other reports from here. So you can export these reports, you can see different formats uh, from here and we can also print preview of the report. So for this partner VAT listing you can see uh, two formats are available that is XLS and XML and we can also uh, download free forms that is free forms. To 81.50 and uh, uh, this is generated only for partners with accounting entries on the accounts with the tag to 81.50 so after selecting the options uh, here we can create a PDF or XML of this report or you can also create both using this button So these are the features available in Belgium localization package. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any auto implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to auto at cyprocess.com.